Please stay tuned following this presentation for previews of other Barney Home videos. You pretend that you're king of the junkyard and you're buying and selling your kingdom and you can't, you can start right now. That sounds neat. Right, and listen, don't wake me up because if you do, I'll turn into a wicked witch with a switch and heat up your rear end. <laughs> King of the Junkyard. Hey, that looks interesting. How much? Well, those old medals. About a quarter each. You got a deal. Listen, I've got to go to another yard, and I'll come back and pick up the stuff later, okay? All right, peasant. What? Uh, sir. <laughs> I heard the door slam. Who was that? Uh, the king just sold a customer some junk. I got ten dollars for that nice lamp with the clock in it. You got ten bucks for that old lamp? Nice going, Roger. What else? Well, just these three old war medals. I got rid of them for a quarter each. Just twenty-five cents? Sure. They're little and all bent up. How'd you like to be little and bent up? <laughs> twenty-five cents. A measly quarter. I mean, I, how could you? Don't you know I won those medals? You did? You heard of World War II, haven't you? Sure, Lamont says that's you and I asked him. <laughs> Sit down over there. Now, see, this one right here. Now, this is the okra cluster on a bronze fig leaf. Uh, I got this one for exceptional bravery in the face of danger. Tell me what happened. No, I can't do that. I'm too modest. It all began in England in 1944. <laughs> this is Yank Infantry Officer Major Fred G. Sanford. And the G stands for guts. <laughs> guts and more guts. Tough, hard-nosed, eagle-eyed, a combat veteran. <laughs> but these secret orders will test his bravery and intelligence to the utmost. <laughs> Allied intelligence has picked this man to lead a team of thieves, killers, and raving homicidal maniacs behind German lines on a suicide mission. Suicide mission? Are you crazy? Man, I'm not going on no suicide mission. The future of free men everywhere rests on this man's shoulders. I'll gladly go on this suicide mission. And the next one. <laughs> this team will parachute into occupied France try to sneak into Nazi headquarters, which is surrounded by the cream of the German army. The odds of his survival are a thousand to one. But Major Sanford doesn't even flinch at these dangers. <laughs> and for this reason, girls, come together tonight? Oh, no. he will be known to Allied intelligence by the code name, Stupid. <laughs> I got another peep. It was rolling around on its back, and it was painfully obvious. It's so hairy down there. This one especially. It's going from weird to weirder. The usual... Two, one, blast off! <laughs> and I flew away! the moon and do you know what i found what <laughs> there was a man lived in the moon in the moon in the moon there was a man lived in the moon and his name was aiken drum and he played upon a ladle a ladle a ladle he played upon a ladle and his name was aiken drum 
And his hair was made of spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti. His hair was made of spaghetti, and his name was Aiken Drum. And his eyes were made of meatballs, meatballs, meatballs. His eyes were made of meatballs, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. was made of cheese, cheese, cheese. His nose was made of cheese, and his name was Aiken Drum. And his mouth was made of pizza, pizza, pizza. His mouth was made of pizza, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. There was a man lived in the moon, 